Today we're going to be taking a look at two VR games going from one extreme to the other, from the most relaxing thing you can imagine, all the way through until the most brutal action you can possibly have in virtual reality. Certainly on the Quest Store for now, this might just be the most brutal game we've ever had. Anyway, we're going to be diving into these two games, giving them a little mini review and a recommend from me whether you should buy them or leave them out. As always, a massive thank you and a shout out to all of you guys and girls out there that support the channel. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much it means to me that you support it with likes, subscribing and all of those good things. So, of course, if you do, make sure you smash those buttons. Thank you very much. Other than that, let's dive into our first title, which is Humanity. This is a game that genuinely surprised me back when it released on PSVR 2, and I think actually it somehow captivated me even more on the quest. Now, the reason for this, I think, is being tetherless, and it just still looks stunning on the quest 3. Now, I dived into this game, and it is really a puzzler slash lemmings type game where you're going to be playing as like a little doji dog who's going to be gathering up these kind of lost souls, I guess, and taking them through what I presume is heaven. Uh, these are again my wild presumptions. I think you can really make up your own mind what's happening in this game um, but that's essentially what I take away from this. Now going through this you're going to get a bunch of different challenging things whether it be learning how to be able to jump, be able to climb and all of these other problems you're going to be able to solve as you go through this. It gets really gorgeous the further you get into this where you're like traveling through water and everything. It just, it just looks stunning. The music in this is absolutely captivating as well and all I have to say on this one is please try it. If you try it, I think you're going to enjoy this. Uh, you always, as I say in these videos, you have the refund policy there on the Oculus Quest if you play under two hours. And of course, you refund a certain, like, you know, you don't refund every single game you get within a month. You're pretty good. Um, <laughs> but in this one, you can definitely give it a try at least. It's so relaxing. I jumped in this the other day to be able to record a portion of this. And genuinely, I spent an hour and a half in there. Like, my quest was nearly dead. And I was just like, damn, this was a blast. Super relaxing, uh, very, very methodical in the way that you can go through this. There's a ton of levels built into the game already, but then on top of that, you have a bunch of user-generated content as well as being able to build your own content within this. So it's one of those games, if you enjoy, you can truly have endless fun in. Uh, or it's another one of those ones, for me at least, that I think I'll be able to chuck on for 20 minutes here or there. If I last 20 minutes, it'll probably be like another hour each time I get in there. But nonetheless, this game is a definite recommend from me. Now, I know this this is not going to be for everyone because it is a puzzler at the end of the day and a very calm chill game but I do recommend that you at least give this a try if you're interested because I think you're going to walk away pretty happy with it. Not only that but it runs incredibly well on the quest, it works perfectly the way that you'd expect it to and I know, I know, I know, I know a few of you are like why would I play this in virtual reality? Well that extra depth and being able to move around your environment genuinely does help. So. Yeah, it's a recommend from me. Now let's dive into Paint the Town Red VR, one of the most brutal experiences I've had on the Quest platform. Now, to pre like give you a bit of an idea about this game, this used to be a flat game way back when on PC, and I loved it back then, but now it's had the VR treatment bring it into virtual reality. The real question is, does it translate well to virtual reality, and how does it run? Well, there's actually a few different levels I want to be able to talk about on this. First of all, this game is insanely brutal. I mean, like, insanely brutal. Like, I don't know how they've made it feel so brutal when these guys are just square-headed characters look like they've been ripped out of Minecraft uh, and the only damage you see is like this pixely damage as it goes through them. I mean, literally, like, if you hit them in the face, you'll, like, tear their skin off and all sorts of interesting things, as well as revealing their skulls, brains, and removing limbs and all sorts of else as you go through this. Now, genuinely, this is a very fun brawler game. Like, if you're looking for something to go and just work some stress out in, I think you're going to have a bit of a laugh in this game. Now, is it all sunshines and rainbows? Unfortunately not. On the quest, it definitely has a few little stutters. Now, I can't tell because I was recording the whole time in there whether it's the extra pressure of me recording, but I did want to mention anyway that there definitely was some micro stutters when there was a lot going on. And in this game, there can be a lot going on. There can be a lot of people on screen and there can also be a lot of violence going on. Uh, as you jump into this, you're going to enter a brawl situation and you're going to take on a bunch of people. Uh, but that isn't all this game has to offer. There's also a roguelite element to this as well, where you can go into like this dungeon crawler where it all kind of gets a bit like uh, crazy and you're going to want to experience that. I'm not going to ruin that because I feel like I'm going to leave it to you guys to explore if you choose to pick up this game. It's also available on PSVR 2 and PC as well. I think PC might be the way to go for this one 
time just so that you get like the true crispiness of this game but genuinely i've experienced it on quest 3 and i had a really good time with it now as i said this isn't all sunshines and rainbows again this game is a very nichely tied game to a certain group of people if you enjoy getting into vr just to smash the living daylights out of something then you're gonna have a good time in this. It's very akin to something like Gorn, where it is really just a murder simulator dressed up in many different ways. I do think this game would have done way better back in like the early days of VR than its current state, but it doesn't change the fact that it is still fun to jump into. So what would I say about this one? I recommend it to a niche group of people. If you are in this and you wanna just beat the living snot out of something and have some fun, you're gonna have a laugh in this game. If you are looking for something with a bit of depth, then I would probably leave this game alone because it's got no real depth. Um, <laughs> but it does have some fun elements in there. Like I say, if you do pick this up, you've got the roguelite elements of it, you've got the other bits. It, it's fun. It's just a fun, destroy people type of game. Anyway, that is our two games for today. We really, both are pretty decently recommended from me. Uh, I know that both of these games are going to get very different reviews depending on the person reviewing them. But as always, I try and stay kind of like in the middle ground when I review anything like this because I don't want to be one of those people that puts just my own taste into a game and that's where the deciding factor is and I think there's quite a few channels unfortunately that do it that way. Uh, I try and look at things a bit more broadly and as well a lot of different people are playing these games so I'm trying to give you reasons for and against depending on the type of person you are and the way that you enjoy games at the end of the day. We all enjoy them differently. Uh, anyway if you're intrigued by some of these as I always say go check out some other people's videos and see if we sort of like you know convince you whether it's good or bad. Uh, you might get some good points and some bad points from different people's videos. Anyway thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this please do consider subscribing and my god hit that like button it's totally free and it does really and truly help me. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.